good morning and welcome back. I'm just had to be leaving the Bandipur. It's been a lovely stay. And yes, I will visit again. Such a quaint little place. Got so much identity. And the people here are lovely, the food's been really good. The accommodation spot on for the price, unbelievable. But today it's a travel day to Pokhara. All the kids having fun. Yes, if you watched when I arrived in Bandipur from uh, Chitwan, I walked uphill for the five miles down to Dumuri and uh, it was hard, it was a hard slog but easily doable and it's a beautiful, beautiful walk so now I'm heading in the opposite direction but downhill thankfully back to Dumuri, Dumuri sorry and then I'll get the bus on the main road there straight up to Pokhara which I'm thinking will take between three and four hours it's only 33 kilometres but you've got to allow for, allow for road conditions and traffic and what have you. So yeah, you never get more than what, 10, 10 kilometres in an hour here on a bus, which I know sounds insane. I'm gonna miss that view. Another bit of a cloudy day. It's 30 degrees and the sun is blazing down. Bandipur, a natural paradise. Very true. Well, there's no way I'm walking around this one. She's getting photos from all different angles. I do love a good picture to the Asians. I love the stances, it's great. It's a good job it's not windy. She'd be off. All very chilled out dogs in Nepal. Not like anywhere else I've been in Asia. Especially when I've got the camera in my hand. Very hard working people in the parlies. That lady, three boxes on the back, on the back. All tied on, there's another one. All strapped onto the back and held by the head. We've got the straps over the head. Must have unbelievably strong necks. Years of practice. So you can get the coach, the sofa coach, the really good luxury one, VIP, from Bandipur straight to Pokhara. But that's about uh, 1,600 rupees, which is a day do. It's only about $10. But uh, to get, I'm out of breath already, to get uh, to altitude, if you just walk down the hill, or get a taxi down the hill to Dumuri and you can get one for about five, six hundred the hotel owner was telling me so yeah, it's a beautiful walk downhill, why not?
There's one thing I will say about Bandipore is I stayed here four nights and that's enough to be honest that, that's more than enough there's not an awful lot up here to do as it as beautiful as it is you will get bored after a few days with it being a mountain top town you're right out the way of everything which has advantages and disadvantages the advantage of it's beautiful it's desolate it's very authentic Nepal the people are lovely but on the disadvantage you haven't got an awful lot of things to do like I say so three or four days is enough so it's back to the hustle and bustle of a city I think if I'm not wrong Pokhara might be the second largest city in Nepal but nowhere near as bad as Kathmandu so we'll see when we get there which I'm really looking forward to there's a big lake set to the side where I'm, my hotel is right next to it yeah I'm really looking forward to that I'm getting out and doing some more walks I wish if I had more time I'd spend more time in Pakara because I've been talking to a French guy in the accommodation this morning and he, was, he went on the Annapura mountain trail where you go around the mountain and he did it in 16 days and it only cost $50 for the permits and then you don't need a guide I thought you did need a guide these days when they changed the rules last year we said no you definitely don't but obviously you're paying for your accommodation when you're going around there which is not expensive and you'd only be paying your accommodation if you weren't there and yeah I'd, I'd love to have done that and you can do it in anything you can you don't have to take the 16 days you can do anything from four or five up to 16 or whatever you like depending on how long you want to stay in places but i would have definitely done that if i had more time Oh, I remember this and four or five days ago walking up just seeing the town there it was so relieving I felt like every turn was never ending We're not supposed to get any rain now for four or five days, so that's a bonus. I think in the rest of Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, they're getting a pretty bad over there still at the moment, even though it's coming towards the end of rainy season. So I've just took my time this morning I'm in no rush because with it being the main road through Nepal it's supposed to be loads of buses going through like I said the guy was telling me in the hotel and I'm in no rush to get there so yeah we'll see when we get to Doomery how easy it is to get the bus I've seen other people on vlogs and you're supposed to get hounded at times We'll see, we will see. The last look up at the town before I get around the corner. I will be back, Bandipore. So yes, this was all uh, be a, a, recurren a reconnaissance if you like when I've come to Nepal I just want to go around a few of the places a few different places relax get a feel for the land and like most countries I will be back uh, just, it's just getting to know the places and the things like that I've learnt so much while I've been here in Nepal so when I do come back it'll make it much, so much of an easier journey
so that's where I'm heading that big main road that goes up straight up to Pakara. such more pleasurable walk and going down and going uphill this is an absolute cakewalk it's lovely you can take it all in a lot more and if, if you're struggling at any time there's buses and taxis going past all the time always beeping the horn do you want to jump in do you want a taxi so you're never going to struggle I mean loads you must get a bus every 15 20 minutes 15 to 30 minutes but taxis are coming past all the time so yeah you're never stuck even if you just wanted to walk a mile or two of it and just stop give it five minutes and someone will be coming by Funny comment uh, I got about the Nepali flag on my thumbnails. The Nepali flag is not rectangle. There's two triangles. I know that. <laughs> I know that fine well. It's everywhere. You don't have to tell me. The message started with, "Don't fly that flag. Don't don't put that flag on again. It's not right." Or something like that. Don't. Where I come from, we have manners. There's such a thing as please. And uh, don't forget, well, that's all you can think of instead of. Thank you for coming to Nepal and telling people how much of a lovely country it is. And, uh, and advertising the country to people who might think that it's too expensive to come here. Travelling on a budget can easily be done. So yeah, no thanks for promoting the country and wearing our international football shirt and things like that. Don't put that flag on your thumbnails again. <laughs> it's just so it, it looks it looks like uh, it fits in better when it's in a rectangle and it's with a white background so you can't really see it that badly and you can see clearly what the Nepali flag is the two small triangles but yeah come on I'm out here promoting your country you know I don't just come up with stupid things like that I've absolutely loved it here in Nepal it's great Everybody should rejoice in that, and not be just thinking of the bad things. I can just see the mountains coming in, the snow-capped mountains at the top of the clouds. That looks amazing. Helicopter going by, I hope that's not a rescue. Oh wow, look at that one on the right hand side. Just in the middle of that big cloud popping up. They look awesome. I've got no idea what mountain that is, but it's a massive one. I know Annapura is not far from here. It could well be that. I know that's one of Nepal's main mountains. Obviously Nepal's the daddy. That looks insane. I wonder if anyone's up there right now. Must feel like you're on the moon. That high up out the way of everything. As fit as I am, I couldn't ever contemplate that now. You have to do a long time training to go taking things like that on. Altitude, fitness, skill. So many factors are coming to it. And you're only as good as the team that you're with. You're not going to be climbing up there by yourself. If you've got a good team, it makes it so much easier. Good travel companions. I've got a little platform here. That looks awesome. Five miles up this mountain was enough for me. And there's another bus going past. Wow. 
Yeah, you can see the main road going through uh, so peaceful when there's nothing driving past. Oh, I can't take my eyes off that snow capped mountain. That is amazing. The National Goat Research Program. How much research can you possibly do on a goat? It might be testing programs to make sure they're healthy enough to get produce from. I've been surprised in Nepal, but so many goats and I've never seen any goat meat for sale. And goat meat's so nut nutritious, get so many vitamins and minerals from it. So yeah, I'm very, very surprised about that. It's so tasty as well. Goat curry, you can't, you can't beat it. So yeah, uh, it's mostly in Muslim countries where you find goat, goat meat. But I've never seen an awful lot in Pakistan either, which again was surprising. I love a good goat curry. I think the best one I've had while I've been away was when I was in Phuket town and I went to the place that Mark Weens went to and it was brilliant, really, really good and so cheap from what I can remember. Normally when Mark Weens goes somewhere, 10 million odd subscribers, the price goes right up. But no, not this place. So if you do go to Phuket town, have a look at the Muslim restaurants and the goat curry was great. You have to get there early in the morning. Here's another thing you've got to be careful of when you're walking. Don't walk on the sides of the road. You get lots of landslides here. My lord. If you fell down there, you're not stopping until you hit that path and you're in serious injuries. Probably break your neck. So thanks to Tony for his advice knowledge on Nepal and his messages so when I was coming up I wasn't sure what that was apparently it's for kids to play on when it's a festival or something that re goat research program they should be teaching them the red cross code or the green cross code <laughs> Here's the Bandipur base camp and the big swing that we've seen on the way up here. There's a lovely view from up there as well. Taking a stroll with the goats. There it is, the base camp. I'm gonna stop for a drink, how you slowly, some of the ways. And this is the halfway point between Dumari and Bandipur. What oh, you see back around here? Not that chain link fence. Well, that's where I'm heading down there. Where you see that big main road.
I remember getting to here when I was on my way up. I think this is the first and last sight you get of that hotel, the monstrosity of a building when you enter Bandipur. And I was thinking, I even said it I think on camera, that surely can't be it. <laughs> you mean I've got to walk all the way up there? Well yep, it sure is. That's the start of the town. And the sun's blazing down today. Well at least the advantage of when I was going up. It was um, cloudy all day so it was stuck behind the cloud. Namaste. He's always looking for a ride. Not far to go now. You can see the Pacara Road much better. A view from that house. Fancy waking up to that every morning. When it comes to winter, you'd be able to use a sledge to get down. <laughs> Off the windy roads now, and onto the dirt track. That goes straight down to the Doomery. Oh, this is torture in these walking shoes. The heels totally collapsed in both of them. They were only very cheap back in the UK, but I thought they would have lasted me a bit. But the hunt continues when I get to Pukara for some more. I've got lots of people sending support to, for me to get some. It's just I couldn't find any in ten, size 10 or above in Kathmandu. Ow, ow. Feels like I'm walking barefooted when I stand up on my heel. The hood's alright. But I'm very... Uh, how can I say it? When my shoes run out, it's always the heel. Which I don't think it's a bad thing. It just means I walk upright. Not long to go now, under a mile. I'm on a million steps. <laughs> Google Maps never told me this way. The two ladies behind me did. Oh, it's getting sweaty now. But I can hear all the horns going on the coaches. So he's got a work cut out. Put all of that by. Like a little monkey clung onto her back. <laughs> Oh, I made it. That was still no easy feat. My calves and my heels are killing me. Coming downhill when you're plodding all the time. And it is downhill all the way. There's, there's no flat bits at all. So from what I can gather, you just walk down the side of the road. Which bus? Big bus? Big bus? Big bus. No, it's okay, I'll find one down here. I don't want to be on one of them ones in front because they get very grand. One of the big ones and they're much more comfortable. And there's not much difference in price at all. Hello. Hello. I'm going to Pokhara. Pokhara? I want a big bus though. Okay. Yeah, it's not a big bus, that's only a yeah. small one. So you don't want there, it's got loads of people on it. Not comfortable, you're crammed right in. I'd rather pay an extra dollar and get a bigger one. Two more trying to grab him on the bus. Crazy.
I'll just stick about around there and see what comes past. No, I'm okay. Definitely don't want to be on that full minibus for three hours. Oh, I don't want to be too far down there as well, it's probably really dusty. Got a much needed bottle of water. Nice and cold. Bananas, crisps. No, I'm okay, thank you. I'm okay. I'm alright there. I'm okay. How many times do you have to say it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes you just lose your patience. And that one's not too bad, this Pooja Deluxe. Well, it's the same as the rest, but there's not many people on it. The thing is, it probably won't set off until it's full. A lot of these young'uns that are running about asking, they're just looking for a little bit of commission off the bus ride. They'll be locals that live in Doomery and they'll make themselves 100 or 200 by getting you on the bus. That's why they were trying to drag that young lad on. And then go just go straight to the bus driver, ask him how much. The young lad there walking about with the fridge on his back. I won't be surprised if that's just come off a bus with that family in front. Here's a couple of big buses coming up. Or one anyway. Uh, this is a bus I want. Swift, right in front of me. He's getting very overpowering here, everybody's coming up to me. Bakara, Bakara, Bakara. He wanted 1,000. He went down to 800. He said, go away, mate. Can't be asking to play in that game. Okay, 600. No. No, go away. I'd rather just get one of the local buses. Pay 300. No boat all on it takes. I'm not having them rip me off. I will pay 600, but not when I play in that game. I said 1,000, I said 600. No, 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 not possible, not possible. Okay. I'm going to walk away at 8, 6. Just beat it, man, beat it. Nobody on the bus, I have had anybody on the bus. Don't earn the money, don't earn the money. Don't try and rip me off. Worst comes to the worst, I'll get that green one. It's not exactly a tourist bus, but 300? Yeah, yeah. Pokhara? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's just going to be getting it for half price now. 300. Yeah, it's a local bus, but I don't care. Doesn't seem like we're going to be sticking around, man. In fact, we're off now anyway. No, I'm okay. Got fans. Open the window. Let's see how long this takes. I'm aware of red 33 kilometers to Bukhara. It's still 35 miles from here. Some of the 
the garbage you read online. But yeah, it's, uh, it's probably about 40 miles altogether. We've probably only got about five. Yeah, about 40 miles altogether. So we're up 65 kilometers. Too bad now, but coming out of that last five miles, it was terrible. It was boom, boom, boom. The roads all getting sorted out and repaired or redone. miles of good, not the same as bad, so we'll take that all the way so far. This is miles worse. It's a nightmare. My stomach feels like it's been used as a punch bag. I've got a massive headache. Covered in dust. Oh, this road, honestly. When I last spoke, it wasn't that bad. Now it's just horrendous all the way. Oh, can only get better. Good job he's not putting his seat back as well. I'd be crushed. And the ironic thing is, she's not even laid back in it. She sat up, laid into his seat. <laughs> oh my life. See how much my knees are overriding that seat. Lordy V, that was a nightmare. At first, it, like I said earlier, it was um, it was just a little bit a bad road, a little bit of good road, and it was mixed. After a few miles, forget about that. It was just bad all the way. I've never experienced anything like that in all of my travels in Asia. Honestly, my whole rib cage just feels like it's numb, like it's been used as a punch bag. You got a headache like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Keep a smile, Richie. I've got to sit down and just try and regain a bit of positiveness. Oh, it's good to be here, it really is. I'm not looking forward to going back. Every journey, every journey on the bus has just been one thing after the other. There's been, there hasn't been one good bus ride. But in two or three years, we'll get it sorted out. We're not, how long has it been now? In two or three years, is no good. <laughs> Oh man, Whew. The, it wasn't the bus's fault, it was just the roads, it was totally the roads. I mean, I think maybe the tourist buses would have handled it better, but no, it was just horrendous, it really was bad. And the people in front of me, and the, the girl put her seat right back, never put it back up when she got off, tried to climb out of the seat. I'm just glad that the guy never did the same, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to sit there. I wouldn't have had no room, but I wouldn't have been able to move. Woo. 
Oh, I'm going to get to my hotel. I've got about... Uh, how long have I got to walk? I think it's about three miles. All the taxi drivers waiting for people to go off the buses. I couldn't reply to messages, I couldn't read my book, I couldn't look at my phone. Because you, you couldn't touch the buttons, you couldn't read the words. Nothing. A 2.2 mile walk, so yeah. Oh, 45 minutes. I'm just going to have a sit down, get me out together, and set off. Maybe get some food on the way, I'm starving. I feel like I'm coated in dust. Well, I know I am, I don't feel like it. I feel it on the head, I could feel it in my glasses, I just kept wiping every five minutes. Plenty of shops about. It looks a lively place. So I'll get to my hotel and uh, show you around when I get there. See what that's like. It's extremely cheap. Taxi, 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 taxi. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? It's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> well, I'm all right. I'm okay. Thank you. Where you go? Where you go? If you watch my channel in the past, you know I hate that question. If I say I'm all right, I'm all right. It doesn't matter how many times you ask me or ask me where I'm going. I'm all right. Oh, I feel better after that sit down. I got off the bus there with a the head full of fire. It was, it was that bad, it really was, and it takes a lot to, uh, to get me like that. Normally I just take it on the chin and don't worry. It is what it is, move on. But that was just horrendous, it really was bad. I'm wait till I get off this dusty main road before I get something to eat. All I need is dusty food. Hey, the barbers. I do get my hair cut here. I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> Get me by the lakeside. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay, thank you. You can see him asking me, why am I going to get one off you and I'm not getting one off him? I don't want a taxi, I'm alright, thank you. <laughs> they can see other people asking you. Where am I going? That way. <laughs> That's the best answer you're going to get off here to that question. Where are you going? That way. <sighs> yeah, I've said this before on other vlogs. When you walk past the ball, why am I going to say you know to one and yes to another? But they're all on it. Taxi, 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 taxi. I've just said no to him, no to him, no to him, no to him. Why you? <laughs> ah, beggars belief, it really does. Where's the thought process come from? I know they've got to earn the money, but come on, common sense is going to kick in somewhere. Loads of trainer shops and everything. No hiking shoe shops. All your fake bags. Gun trainers.
the bus journey was three hours, just under three hours, by the way. So they are faster than the tourist buses. But there's a reason for that, because they'll just fly. <laughs> and that makes the roads, yeah, you can imagine. All the, the bags are coming off the top. You know where you put your bags on the top above your head? They're all coming up, coming off. What's going on here? I've just had two young lads talking to me there, and they were uh, practicing their English, talking about football. Two young strikers. Yeah, Messi or Ronaldo. That's a hard one. Yeah, you get locked up for that in England. Talking to two young strangers. Don't worry about eight, nine, something like that, but spoken English. now. Ah, I feel totally relaxed now. I feel great. It's a nice park. Burgers, pizzas, momos. Momos are everywhere. That's what I'm talking about. Lake Fua, F E W A. That looks lovely. I'm going to enjoy having a nice walk around there on one of the vlogs. Showing you what's about in Pakara for the few days I'm here. I've seen a few hiking shops as well. So another day, I better get myself about and check them out right now I just want to get to my hotel a nice cup of tea I'm supposed to have a kettle in the room and I've got tea bags I always carry tea bags with me from back home so yeah I'm looking forward to a nice cup there's another trekking shop yeah there's plenty of boat down here Now we're nearly here. There's a sign, Diplomat. I hope the hotel's better looking than the sign. <laughs> One thing I did think there'd be more shops selling samosas and what have you. Right down here. Uh, there was loads up on the dusty road. On the dusty road you're going to get dusty samosas. Here we are, Hotel Diplomat. Namaste. Now this is what I'm talking about. You won't believe the price of this place. So it's a triple room. The beds are nice and soft. Probably the softest I've had since I've been here in, in Nepal. Uh, the bathroom's very clean. Good shower, hot water. That said, I've had hot water in every uh, hotel I've been in or homestay in, uh, in Nepal. Good cups. Kettle, clean as well. Brilliant, really good. TV, it's got cable channels. I don't really watch the TV anyway. Fan, it's only a fan room, there's no air con, but you don't need it. And the big balcony. Now the view is not best in front of you, but you've got the mountains. in the background I mean even if you are on the front you still can't see the lake for all the trees I think you'd have to go further at the other side of the lake someone mentioned to me that earlier in a message yeah it's great absolutely no complaints at all and the Wi-Fi is tremendous I mean 10 times better ow <laughs> something to sit on the balcony uh, yeah, I've had anywhere, it's been, the, the fastest has been 25 megabits per second everywhere I've been. This is 260, 270, both upload and download. 
and I couldn't believe it when I was looking. I was like, "Whoa, what the hell?" So yeah, that, that's really, really good for me. Yeah, for me uploading and what have you for YouTube. So I'm very pleased, very pleased. And a knockout price of six pounds a night for that triple room. Good shower, balcony, ensuite, bathroom. Awesome, absolutely awesome. I couldn't, I can't believe it. Sun's just gone down over the mountain. It's getting starting to get a bit cloudy. Yeah, now I'm gonna have a nice welcome cup of tea. And I hope you're all having an amazing Sunday. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe as always. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a great deal. It really does. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Oh, I think I'm gonna enjoy it here.